Welcome live to High Octane Cards. Tonight we are doing our 1992 Max Black Max Break. Got on here just a minute before 7. I know I said I'd be on here at 7 p.m. Eastern. 6.59. I just wanted to go ahead and pull the trigger and off and running. So you see we have the trading card database website there in the background. Wanted to just get that up and going. That way I could show you guys some of the rookies that are in the set. Some of the guys you're going to be looking for. It's not stacked full of uh, high-end rookies. But you can kind of see you have some people that... Uh, Hi Jared, how are you today? You can see there's some of the rookie cards in the 92 Max set. Not a lot of big name drivers. You got David Green, uh, former Xfinity Series champion, Jack Sprague, Truck Series champion, Ricky Craven, former what is now uh, Arkham Menards East Series champion, Lynn Wood, that's not too bad. Bob Labonte, of course, that's the parents of, or the dad of Bobby and Terry Labonte. All sorts of other different all pros and so forth there down the list. Who else do we have? You do have Jeff Gordon's first Cup Series card there. I don't want to say Cup Series card. I'm sorry, that's 93 Max. His first Max card is also in this set. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes here before we do the randomization for the stacks to make sure that uh, there's two people involved in this particular break. That's going to be Wes S. and Bean's Ball Card Blog. So looking for them to enter the chat here at any time double checking the rookies here to make sure there's nobody that i missed over i don't see any names there then if we go back to the main page there that the 92 max set is on let's look at the hall of famers there should be some really good names in here that we can pull from the hall of fame list obviously you got rusty earnhardt martin quick dw baker davy allison gordon gant well gant's not a hall of famer yet not not in the nascar hall of fame he's in the international motorsports hall of fame and it's probably covering many many other motor racing halls of fame rick hendrick jack roush obviously richard petty's in this all the wood brothers aj foyt kale yarbrough a lot of, a lot of nice names here in this set so i'm really looking forward to do this hey wes how are you today just seeing you pop in there I just started. We're just kind of going over what we can look for in this set. Go back to the... Well, I didn't want to go to the main page. Let's go back to our 92 Max page in case there's any other questions that we might come across in this. There we go. Of course, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to have focusing issues on this because of the way YouTube does it. So anyway, Wes, I know you're here. Bean said he would be able to make it tonight. But what I'm going to do is i got the random dice roller up here. I'm going to put the camera just slightly closer so you guys can see it. And we're going to see how many times we're going to randomize the list. So we're going to roll the dice. And we end up with eight. Very nice. So we're going to go to our list here. And of course, there you see I did it in order of the way that you guys uh, came into the break. So Wes, you have one spot. Beans has three. And I'm going to pull this back just a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And we're going to randomize this eight times. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And we've got one more roll on this. And the way that is going to be, whoever has spot number one will be the top left spot in the box. And let me explain that. With this box, just so that everybody is clear on how we're going to do this, spot one is going to be the upper left stack. Spot two is going to be the upper right stack or top right. Spot three is going to be the bottom left or left. Uh, did I put left bottom? Yes, bottom left. And bottom right is going to be spot four. So I wanted to make that clear for everybody before we hit the random button one last time and see who gets what stacks so where are we at it says seven somewhere down here seven times yeah right there seven times so we're going to roll this one more time and get our final list there we go so beans you've got upper left upper right and lower left and wes you've got bottom right So if we can just pause for just a second here. So there's the little cards that let me know who's got what. 
and beans. I know you have, I don't know if you're in here yet or not, but I'm just going to write beans on the card. So that way I know where we're going. Did everybody watch the race yesterday from Nashville? I don't know if you guys watched any of it or what your thoughts might have been about the Nashville race. I'm going to take this laptop out of view here because we don't need it for anything else on this break. I'm going to bring the Max Box back into play there. Get our little workstation ready to go. Did I just lose connection on my laptop. I don't know. I think we're good there. I'm trying to get my live stream up on my laptop so that, that way. There we go. Nope. Need to mute that. Now we know we're good. Oh, that's my preview video. Let's open that back up. Sorry about the technical difficulties here, guys. Just trying to get everything rolling here. And I think we're in business. Let's see here. Okay, we're just... Uh, just a couple minutes behind and I just wanted to have my window open over here on my laptop so that, that way in case I needed to add anything into chat. So we got things that we need here. Got soft sleeves, got plenty of those. Got a fresh pack of top loads in case we pull some really nice stuff out there. And we are ready to roll. You guys out there ready to rip some 1992 Black Max? And I just seen, Wes, that you had commented about Chase. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bum deal there that he did get did get his uh, uh, penalty, but it is what it is. So again, sealed box of 92 Black Max. I just ripped the corner of it there just so that we could get it started. So I'm looking forward to this. This is probably one of my favorite sets that Max produced. Take this off camera so I can have a little better grip. Probably one of my favorite sets that Max produced, mainly because you have the opportunity at the older cards. Obviously, I like any of the Max product that you have opportunity for relics or autographs, and I do have a trash can here handy, guys, so all my wrappers will free flow. So again, we have top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and we have a card that just took a nosedive. So uh, probably need to move Willie Mays and... McCovey over to the side there so we can have a little room for some racing. So anyway, we're going to start uh, top left because that's how we do it. We go top left, top right, bottom left, and then bottom right. So Roberto Clemente, you're going to take a seat there. And we are starting top left. And maybe we're not. So I'm going to have to get that, guys. Hang on just one second. Try not to get on screen here. Now let's see if we can do that without dropping it again. So there we go. Beans, we are starting with you. Top left. You are, as they like to say, on the clock. So here we go. We got, looks like, what is that, nine? Nine packs in each stack. 36 packs total. So the green flag is out on this break, or on this rip. I guess it's a break. It's not a rip. It's a break. So I like the packaging. Very nice. And there you see, we talked about this this morning in the preview video. Not a lot to talk about. And we're going to open these with the backs facing away. So that, that way we don't know who we get. Start off with Steve Meal, former crew chief for Mark Martin. We're going to kind of rapid fire through these because we're going to have a lot of repeats. Only thing is they're black border cards, so sometimes they're a little hard to keep pristine once you get them out of the pack and start 
handling them, so I'm going to try to be very careful with these so I don't scar them up for you guys. Larry McReynolds, Mike Beam, Ernie Elliott, Larry Pearson, Dick Trickle. There you go, Beans. You got you a, a Jeff Gordon, a 1991 BGN Rookie of the Year card right out of the box. Nice little find there. And I will go through these later, and I'll sleeve up all the big names and so forth for you guys to make sure they get a little protection. There's Jack Ingram, Steve Grissom, 93 Bush Series champion, all pro. Is that um, Harold Stott, I think? Yes, Harold Stott. That's the son of Ramo Stott, former ARCA Series competitor and pole sitter for the 1976 Daytona 500. There you have Larry McReynolds, Renee White, Jack Aroot, Neil Bonnet, and you get, oh wow, very nice, a 1991 Harry Gant base set card. So we're going to pack number two. And you start off with Mark Martin, and based on the coalition of this, Rusty Wallace will probably be next. Nope, Hut Strickland. So Rusty was probably before him. So you got Hut Strickland, Wally Dallenbach Jr., Mike McLaughlin, Tim Mosey. This looks like the pack that you had. Chad Little, John Paul Jr., he passed away, I believe, late last year or early this year, really can't remember. Tom Peck, former Bush Series driver. Larry Phillips, he was a Winston Racing Series champion for a number of years. All-Pro card of James Luter, I believe he was an engineer. No, he was a machinist. Probably on one of the Hendrick teams. They always seem to win a lot. Who is this one? Slick Poston. I believe that's Will Lind, All-Pro team. Norman Koshimishu. He worked with uh, Raymond Beetle's team. I believe he was a truck driver for Rusty, and then he was the gas man over there on Davies' team for a while. Who's that? Scott Robinette? Yeah, I should, should know that one. I've seen that one or not enough. Jeff Ellis. And then you have a 91 Hut Strickland card. I'm hoping this box is not laden with 1991 Max. It's a decent set and has some good rookies, but we're looking for some 89 Max or 88 Max to really hit some, hit some cool rookies in those. 91 Max does have, I believe, Bobby Labonte and Joe Nemechek and Jeff Burton rookies in it. So we have next Harry Hyde, Derek Cope, 1990 Daytona 500 winner, made his final start in NASCAR this year at Daytona. There's Ray and Diane DeWitt, former car owners, Chuck Little, that's Chad Little's dad, Jesse's grandpa, Dick Moroso, Sam McMahon III, and he was kind of a controversial car owner. We touched about him in the uh, preview video this morning, Mike Wallace, Jimmy Hensley, Clifford Allison, son of Bobby and Judy Allison, brother of Davey. There's Todd Bodine. Tommy Houston, and I see another 91 Max peeking out back there. Beans, I'm hoping for some better luck for you here in a minute. Chris Economaki and uh, Whittemore, Jack Whittemore, NASCAR official, and Jimmy Cox. We have Richard Childress, so that's not too bad. That'd be a nice TTM, especially if he'd sign it in gold or silver. I know he signs in gold sometimes. That'd be a nice TTM. To get. So we'll go to pack number four. I believe this is pack four. So we start with Buster Alton, longtime NASCAR official. Got to meet him a few times down at Indy when I had a hot pass. Robert Black, former Bush Series director. Robert Yates, legendary car owner. Jack Roush, current car owner. Bud Moore, of course, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, so it's either Lynn or Eddie. Which is it? Eddie, one of the part of the Wood Brothers family. There's Kenny Bernstein, George Bradshaw, part of TriStar, Ernie Irvin, and if you look on his hat and his uniform, no Kodak uh, livery there. They obviously did not have the rights for from Kodak to use it on the cards, as in this case with Rick Wilson, they did have these Snickers rights. There's Mike Chase. Mike Chase is in a uniform that when he drove a few races for A.J. Floyd in the very, very early 90s there. And one of his longtime sponsors, Frey Miller Trucking Company, I believe he is from out in California. There's Randy LaJoy. Randy ran a few races for Cale Yarbrough late in 91. Tracy Leslie, Bobby Hamilton, 
and you have a Juni Donlavi. So, I mean, you've been getting some strong drivers and car owners there from 1991, but we want to see some 88, 89, and 90 Max come out of these packs. So maybe this one will be the one. Maybe you just get in a rough, rough pack there at the beginning. Take this one off there so we can get through it. Jim Bound. Of course, I got a TTM from him, oh, what, a couple months ago? Haven't never, have never, never met him. Did get a TTM from Charlie Glotzback. Of course, he did pass away last month, so that's sad to hear. Then we have Jack Sprague. All pro card. That's probably, is that Glenn Bobo, David Little? Okay, some of these crewmen I'm not 100% familiar with. Uh, all pro Gail Wilson. I believe he was a truck driver for Travis Carter. We have, uh, is that Will Lind again? Danny Lawrence. There's a lot of guys on the RCR team. Another All-Pro card, Dan Ford. That should be David Smith. Uh, Wilson, 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 Ken Wilson. There's Kirk Shelmerdine. Tony Glover. Richard Broom. Paul Andrews. I believe I did get this signed by Paul at the track from an ARCA race a couple years ago. There's Bobby Labonte. And, ooh, wow, Terry Labonte, 91 Max. That's not too bad. Again, we're we're uh, we're storming the market on the 91 Max cards here. I'd like to get, get away from the 91 Max and maybe get some 88 or 89 or whatever. There's James Hilton. Of course, he passed away a couple years ago in a traffic accident. Longtime driver and car owner. Jimmy Means, he does have a car in the Xfinity Series for Gray Galding now. Bill Sedgwick, former West Series driver. Elton Sawyer, of course, he's a NASCAR official now, married to Patty Moise. Kirk Shelmerdine, all-pro card. Another all-pro card, Larry Wallace, not real familiar. Now we get into, okay, Harry Gant. This is a third, does that say third team or second team? Second team. So a Harry Gant, all-pro card, pretty cool. I see a white card picking out of the back. So maybe you got an 88 max. There's Ken Squire, Dr. Dick Bergeron. Checklist, which is always important, but you can always go to trading card database like I do. Rusty Wallace race 16, so that's going to be the Pocono race. Probably the July race. Race 28, how ironic that Davey won race 28 in 91. That would be at Phoenix. Harry Gant won race 24 at Martinsville. That was his fourth in a row. Alan Kowicki race 20. So that's the Food City 500, or I'm sorry, it's the uh, Bud 500 at Bristol. And who is your 88 Max card going to be of? Derek Cope. So a nice Derek Cope rookie. Little off center, probably 45, 55 centering there. Got four nice sharp corners. I will get that one sleeved up for you. I just like keeping the 92s separated from the other ones. So a Derek Cope rookie. That's our first 1988 Max card of the day. Hopefully not the last. Hopefully we'll get some nice cards from 89 and 90 as well. There's uh, Scott Houston, I think. This is probably one of my favorite cards of the set. If you're not familiar with this particular event, go watch the 1991 Daytona 500. There were five cars that went into the race that did not have sponsorship. Winston stepped up, uh, said, we'll give you funding to run the race. Just carry the colors of the five armed forces on the cars. And they did. And of course, this was the middle of Operation Desert Storm. There's Kyle Petty. Nice uh, accident there in the 91 Winston 500 when he broke his leg. Here's another 1991 uh, Memorable Moments card. There you see Dale Earnhardt leading the pack at Talladega. That's probably the fall race. And I see an 89 Max card peeking out. Mark Martin blew his engine in the fall Richmond race. Another memorable moment, or maybe not so memorable for Mark. Butch Miller, longtime ASA driver. Ricky Craven, I want to say this might be Ricky's rookie card. Can't remember if he had anything in 91, but if it is, I'll get that sleeved up for you. I'll have to double check on that list. I'm pretty sure it is his rookie. Yeah, it is his rookie. We just looked at it before we got rolling here. So I'll get that one sleeved up. Dave Mater III. Of course, he had a second place at the Talladega Arca race in May. Randy Baker, half-brother of Buddy Baker. There's a Bill Elliott. Most popular driver. We have a checklist. Who else do we have? Davy Allison, race 12. So, looking at Victory Lane. I'm looking for clues at what race this might be. 
I'm going to say that's Michigan. Let's take a look and see what it says. Oh, it's Sears Point. So that's the race where Ricky Rudd bumped Davey come into the white flag and NASCAR black flagged Ricky instead of giving him the checkered flag. Harry Gant, race nine. So we've talked about this one before, the 91 Winston 500. There's Ricky Rudd, Trans South 500. And who is your... Who is your 89 Max card going to be of? It's going to be a race. I bet it looks like, it's, is it Atlanta or Richmond? It's Richmond. Oh, that's a nice card. So, uh, don't know if you have that one or not, Beans, but that's a pretty cool card. you got Dale Earnhardt, Neil Bonnet, and Rusty Wallace all on the front of it. 88 year in review. Give you some highlights of the 88 Pontiac Excitement 400. I'll put that over there in the vintage card pile. Give you a chance to look at that. Oh. So, didn't mean to drop that one. Let's see who we have in this next pack. Ernie Irvin starts us off. It's when he won the 91 Daytona 500. Dewey Live and Good. Uh, he was uh, Terry Labonte's crew chief at the time. Doug Williams. Jimmy Maycar. Of course, he's now one of the VPs at Joe Gibbs. Got Donnie Allison. That'd be a nice TTM. Bob Labonte, we talked about him on the preview a little bit. Darrell Waltrip, Hall of Famer. Uh, Mark Smith, yeah, Mark Smith. I believe he passed away a couple years ago, former owner of TriStar. Mickey Stavola, or Billy Stavola, had a 50-50 chance and I still messed it up. Felix Sabatis, Junie Donlevy, Morgan Shepard, that'd be a nice one to get signed. We have Ken Schrader. You got another Jeff Gordon card, first Max card, first base card. Ooh, and you got a 1990 Max card of Dale Inman. It's a nice one. That'd be a nice TTM. Again, a lot of these early 90s Max and some of the 80s stuff, the 88, 89, just a bit off center, but still a really, really nice card. And then your final pack in the top left stack before we move off to the top right stack. So we start with Harry Gant once again, the Bandit, longtime Skull sponsorship, U.S. Tobacco. There's there's Joe Nemechek. So that's John Hunter's father, back when he was about John Hunter's age. Now, so it gives you an idea. Lozito's Pharmacy was always on his cars early on. Of course, Joe won the '92 Bush Series championship. There's Art Krebs. He's the father of former West Series competitor John Krebs. Timmy Arp, one of the NASCAR officials, Mike Chaplin. So what I thought about cool was with Max back in the day is they did all these officials, did the owners, crew chiefs, drivers, they, they whole nine yards. So you really have a lot of opportunity for a lot of unique TTMs here. Dick Beatty, of course, he passed away, I believe, in the 90s, former competition director. There's Rusty Wallace, IROC champion. Richard Childress. Larry McClure. I make sure I had the right McClure. There's enough of them. Roger Penske. Bobby Allison. Uh, Glenn Wood. Yep, got it right because we had that one this morning in the preview. Bob Rahilly, one half of the former team that was Ray Mock Racing. He was the Ray part and Butch Mock, M-O-C-K, but it was R-A-H, and then M-O-C created the Ray Mock branding. Rusty Wallace, and we have a 91 max of Joey Knuckles, so crew chief for Davey Allison. Not too shabby there as well. So I think your highlight out of that one was that 89 max uh, Richmond race review. So I'm going to stick these right there, because I know you're going to have three stacks here, Beans. So now we're going to move off to the top right stack. Reset our board. Nine more packs for you. So again, those of you that are just jumping in the channel, nothing spectacular on the outside of the packs because there's no odds. And you never know um, what you're going to pull out of these. Of course, every one of these packs is going to have a card, one card from either 88, 89, 90, or 91 max. My phone's chiming. I hope nobody calls. So... Doesn't matter, I have the option to not answer the call as well. So you got a checklist, starts off pack number two. And you got race 14, that should be the Michigan race. Miller Genuine Draft 400. 
race 26. You might be able to complete a full season here. Jeff Bodine, that was his only win in 91 and his last win for Junior Johnson. Race 22, Richmond, Harry's second win out of four in a row. There is race 18, Ernie Irvin, the butt at the Glen. Of course, that was the race that J.D. McDuffie lost his life in. A very savage crash and a very, very tragic crash. That's the crash that uh, helped institute the what is now known as the inner loop at Watkins Glen, the chicane on the backstretch. Jeff Hensley, I think he's still a crew chief in the truck series to this day, and he did finish in the top 10 in Xfinity Series points in 1984, so that's pretty cool. There's Pops, Tony Urey Sr., Incident in Bristol between D.W. and Davey, 1991 Valleydale 500. Qualifying for Sears Point, there you see Ken Trader's car way up on two wheels. And if you notice, no logos. Again, they stayed away from the tobacco stuff. I was at this race, 91 Champion Spark Plug 400. Dale Jarrett in the 21 beats Davey Allison at the line for a photo finish for his first career win. We have Mark Stahl. Ward Burton, Troy Beebe, and I see an 88 Max pe peeking out there. We have a Terry Labonte, and who is your 88 Max going to be of? Let's see which way we need to do the card. It looks like it's going this way. I think I, I can already tell which one it is. It's got a, one of the DK Ulrich cars on the front. should have Richard Petty there. Very nice card. So you got Sterling Marlin there and Benny Parsons behind him. So that's a nice-looking card. The King on a Streak. Give you guys a chance to read that one just a little bit. Talking about Richard's long time consecutive... I don't want to say... Yeah, I guess it would be his consecutive start streak. So got some nice cards in that pack. So always looking forward to getting some 88 Max in this. Or 89. We, we really want to see that Earnhardt rookie pop out behind one of these cards. So we got Robbie Loomis. Starts us off. Dennis Connor. There's Richard Petty. I've actually got that one. I believe I got that one signed TTM or in person. This would be an awesome card beans for you to get signed. Maybe he'd use that gold sharpie right across there. It'd look pretty nice. DK Ulrich, longtime team owner. We have, uh, who is that? Larry Hedrick. He just passed away last year. Kale Yarbrough, former team owner. Don Beerschwell, former team owner. Of course, he is Eddie Beerschwell's father. Eddie does TTMs. Sterling Marlin. Brett Bodine. Michael Waltrip, who's in the SRX series. Of course, he works for Fox. Chuck Bound, he does TTM as well. Dave Resendiz. Gary Nelson. We got one more card. Elmo Langley, former pace car driver and longtime team owner. And who is our 89 Max going to be of this time? And it's that Earnhardt year in review. Hi, Jamie Williams. How are you doing? Just seen you pop in, in the chat there. We're breaking some 1992 Max Black, as you can see. So we're having a little fun trying to pull an Earnhardt rookie out of this mess. Or any other rookie. Doesn't matter. So we've got Ed Romeo, former NASCAR official. Doyle Ford, longtime flagman. There you go. There's your nice Earnhardt card beans, the 1991 year in review. Looks like he's at Martinsville. Rick Hendrick. Got a couple cards from Rick TTM. Uh, Tim Morgan, part of the Morgan McClure team. Don Miller, former co-owner at Penske Racing South. Bob Bilby. I believe he was a yeah, he was a part owner of Bobby Allison's team. There's Billy Hagen. Who we have here Richard Jackson. There's your nice Earnhardt. So you're stocking up on some 92 Earnhardts. We just need to go back a few years. There's the Alan Kowicki. Bobby Dodder. Which you can meet Bobby at the track since he owns the 07 Xfinity car. There's Dale Jarrett. Ed Barrier. And who is our... Get a 1990 Max, and it is Richard Broom, former crew chief for Ken Schrader in the 25 car. So, Richard Broom. So, at least we're kind of out of the woods on that 1991 Max stuff. Hopefully, we'll stay away from that and get some of this 88, 89, and 90 going on. 
Jimmy Spencer. He was on the Dale Jr. download this week. I've not got a chance to listen to that, but I am looking forward to it. A 91 champ. That's a pretty nice looking card. And we see an 89 max peeking out of the back there. So we'll kind of keep that one under wraps. Uh, race 10, Davey Allison, Coke 600 from 91. DW's first modern era win, I don't want to say modern era, but first win as a car owner in 91. He did win as a car owner back, I believe, in 74 or 5 as for his first career win. Kyle Petty. Then we have, is that uh, Glenn Bobo? That's Glenn Bobo. I knew we'd find him eventually. Billy Ingle, former crew chief. Clyde McLeod. Now this might be Leonard Wood. Yes, Leonard Wood. David Ift. Barry Dotson, he passed away a few years ago. Bill Elliott, it's a nice looking card. I mean, he dig one of those out to get signed over at uh, SRX this Saturday. Dave Fuge, Travis Carter, who was on Scene Vault Podcast. Can't remember if he had three, two or three episodes, but that was a really, really good interview with Travis Carter. And who is our 1989 Max of... It's going to be a race... Rusty Wallace, Victory Lane, race 27. Very cool. What matches the car number, even though this isn't a serial number. And there is the rundown from the 1988 Fall Rockingham race, which would have been the... What would that have been? The AC Delco 400, perhaps? Or 500? So, very cool. We'll get that one sleeved up for you here in short order. Go to our next pack. Bob Whitcomb passed away a couple years ago. He was the owner of the 10 car that Derek Cope won the Daytona 500 with. Harry Melling, 1988 championship owner. Buddy Baker, longtime veteran and Hall of Famer. Kenny Wallace, we talked about Team 3 racing a little bit. I think you can look that one up online. You'll find some interesting stuff. There is Davey Allison. Cecil Eunice, who drove for Carol Levin Racing. Number 19 car. H.B. Bailey. H.B., uh, first qualifier for the Brickyard 400 in Indianapolis. He did not qualify, but he was the first driver to take an official time. His son, Joe Dan Bailey, I believe works for uh, Joe Gibbs Racing to some capacity. I believe he was on the Dale Jr. download recently. Carl Hill. There is, is it Ed Morrow? Buddy Morrow. Okay, not familiar with him. Bruce Roney. Longtime NASCAR official. Les Richter, competition director. I've actually got a few... Uh, they have to be either from the 50s or the 60s, but Les actually played for the Los Angeles Rams, so anytime I see any of his football cards, I do try to pick them up. Harry Gant winning at... It's probably Dover for his third win in a row. There's the McClure brothers. One of them was the father of Eric McClure, who recently passed away. There's Leo Jackson, and that one popped up on us. Bob Jenkins. Of course, Bob is a longtime sportscaster with ESPN and ABC, currently fighting brain cancer. So all the best to Bob in your recovery. Not sure if he does TTMs, but he lives about an hour from me. I'd like to send one out to him maybe sometime when he gets, gets feeling a little bit better because he's one of the best. There's Junior Johnson, Hall of Famer, Chuck Ryder. Now, this should be Linwood. Yeah, that's Linwood. Butch Mock. We talked about Bob Rahilly. There is Butch Mock. He is the mock part of Ray Mock Racing. Rick Mast. Ricky Rudd. Phil Parsons ran two races for Harry Melling in 1992 before being released and then ended up driving a couple races later on, uh, a couple seasons later, I believe. Jeffrey Bodine. Bill Venturini, who fields about half the cars in the Arca series. There's Shauna Robinson. Peter Suspenzo. And we get back to the 91, Max. There's Phil Barkdahl. Rich Bickle. And all pro uh, second team, Norman Koshimishu. And I'm not sure who the other guy is. We'll look at that here in just a second. And you got a Ken Reagan, the father of David Reagan. So that might be good TTM there as well. 91 Max. So who's the other guy? Jerry Schweitz. So I knew Norman Koshimishu, but didn't recognize the other guy.
we've got some more all pro cards some of these would be really cool to get signed at ttm so let's see who we have here um devin barbie and ronnie revis uh, if you ever heard of bnr engines ronnie revis is the r part of bnr engines i believe kenny bingham was the b part so bnr engines are represented there paul andrews and mike hill we have Charlie Presley and who else? Gary Brooks. Looks like we have Doug Riker and Tim Brewer. Yep. There's Super Tax, AJ Foyt. He's one I need to get a signature of. Dale Inman. Hall of Famer Waddell Wilson, working for Hendrick Motorsports there. Robin Pemberton. No, that's Randy Pemberton. No, Robin. I'm sorry. There's there's like so many Pembertons, I can't remember them all. There's Eddie Dickerson, Tommy Kendall, Irv Hare, Stanley Smith, who passed away last year. Looks like we're getting back to the 91 Max. There's Bobby Hillen when he was relief driving for Kyle Petty in 91. And Jeff Burton, and who's our 91 Max of Rick Hendricks. So you got a couple of uh, Rick Hendrick cards. I got You got one from 91, I think. Did you get one from 90, maybe? I can't remember. So we got two more packs in this stack, and I kind of exposed that one. Don't know who it is, but we know when it's from. So you got some more All-Pro cards here. It looks like Leo Jackson and somebody on the Goodwrench team. Eddie Lanier, so that's going to be Engine Builders. All-Pro third team, Mark Martin, Hall of Famer. There's, uh, is that Kim Bruce is her name? Beth Bruce, okay. Couldn't remember. Winston Kelly, of course, he's at the NASCAR Hall of Fame now. Works there. Ned Jarrett. Another checklist. Darrell Waltrip. Race 25, Dale Earnhardt. So that's going to be the Holly Forms 400 where he beat Harry Gant's four-race win streak. Speaking of the bandit, there's the race that started the four-race win streak, the Southern 500. Back to another Earnhardt victory, race 17. That looks like it's at Talladega, the Die Hard 500. And you have Steve Bird, longtime crew chief in the Bush series. Uh, is that Eddie Pearson? Yeah, Eddie Pearson, son of David. We talked about this one in the preview. If you guys didn't watch the preview, I'm not going to go into detail. But And I don't know if YouTube's going to let me focus in here. But right there is a jack stand. That jack stand was placed in the trunk of Sterling Marlin's car to keep the trunk lit up after an early race crash later in the race sterling blew a tire back the car in the wall that jack stand punctured the fuel cell and the rest they say is history there's rick mass crash and who is your 91 max card of jimmy spencer jimmy spencer during his time at travis carter motorsports and we're down to your last pack beans in the upper right hand part of the box Just getting my stuff organized back here. Last pack in the upper right hand. There you see uh, Ted Musgrave in the 55, Bobby Hamilton in the 68, Robert Presley, Jeff Green, who recently retired. So we've seen some of these before today. Jim Sauter, Mickey Gibbs, Tommy Ellis, Mark Martin, Race 25, Davey Allison, winner of the Winston, the All-Star Race. Race 6, Rusty Wallace. It's probably Bristol. It looks like a Bristol trophy. Dale Earnhardt, winner at Richmond. A couple more All-Pro cards. Not familiar. Wayne Dalton and Troy Martin, Fabricators. Then we have Tim Brewer. I see an 88 Max peeking out from back there. Uh, Bob Johnson. Steve Lloyd. And who is the 88 Max of... Daryl Waltrip, not too shabby. It is a Tide Chevrolet, Daryl Waltrip, so it gives you a little bit of information there. Let you take a look at that right quick. So that rounds your stack number two. So I'm going to put your stack number two right there. Take your top right card off. Then we're going to put your bottom left card up here, Beans. <clears throat> so you've got the bottom left stack. And this is your final stack of the day. So get rolling here. Let everybody see the packs there. 
Again, I'm trying to open these so we don't expose that back card and spoil who our surprise is going to be. As far as, don't want to say insert, but they are inserted randomly. So there's Ed Free, longtime Bush Series car owner. Excuse me, Dave Marcus, independent driver for many, many years. Joe Rutman, who was recently on the David Starr podcast. That's another good listen. Let's go racing with David Starr. It's a pretty good podcast. He's had some good guests on there. Had Mario Andretti on there. That was a really good surprise, big surprise. David Green, former Bush Series champion. More all-pro cards. Let's see if I can see the names on these. I really can't because my YouTube's not going to let me focus. So Abby Garwood and Mark Osborne. Not real familiar with those names. A couple more here. Dan Ford and Daryl Dunn. Who's this going to be over here? Mike Thomas and Shorty Edwards. Chocolate Myers is a dead giveaway. And who's the other one? Henry Benfield. There you go. Gasman. Uh, not sure. I think it's Eddie Dickerson on the right. Or nope, it's Todd Parrott. And Daryl Andrews, who is the brother of Paul Andrews, I believe. Tony Glover, 91 Crew Chief of the Year. Pit Crew Champs, Bud Moore Racing. Bud Moore Engineering, as it's called. Oh, you got a 91 Max Bean, sorry. Andy Petrie, Jeff Hammond, Donnie Wingo. And who's it going to be? Ken Squire, not too bad. wonder if Ken does TTMs. I know he's up there in Stowe, Vermont, but uh, need to find out if Ken does TTMs at all. So we're a little more than halfway through this, trying to get through this as quickly as we can. There's Randy Baker. So it looks like we're going to have some repeat cards here. So we'll kind of go through these a little quickly. Give you guys a chance to get off here and relax a little bit. Race 12. I believe we had that one earlier. Yeah, so we did have a few of these. So you're going to get a few doubles here, Beans. But a lot of these can be TTM material. Dewey Live and Good. We had him to start off a pack earlier. Doug Williams. Jimmy Maycar. Donnie Allison. Donnie does TTMs. We know that for sure. Who do we have here? We have DW. Mark Smith, and Dr. Dick Bergeron. He might do TTMs. I know he's still around. He runs the, I believe it's the New Hampshire or the New England Racing Hall of Fame up there. He talked about it on the Dale Jr. download. Not trying to give these other podcasts props, but it's where I get some of my information. So I figured you guys might like to share. How ironic that we end the last pack with Dr. Dick Bergeron and start with him in the next one. Of course, he was editor for many, many years of Stock Car Racing Magazine. Checklist. Race 16, Rusty Wallace. Race 28, Davey Allison. Race 24, Harry Gant. Race 20, Alan Kowicki. There's uh, Houston again. Now, we've had some of these, so I'm just going to power through these because I don't want to spend too much time on them. And I see, sadly, another 91 Max at the back of the pack. There's another Craven Rookie. I'll make sure I get that one sleeved up for you. Dave Mater III. We talked about him briefly earlier. And your 91 Max is... Can we guess it? Is it Leo Jackson? Kenny Bernstein? Barney Hall. Barney Hall. So part of that award at the Hall of Fame, the Hall Squire Award for... I want to say it's journalism or whatever it's for, but it's part of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. I need to go back down there. So, so eventually I'll get down there to the Charlotte area and go see some different things. But I want to go back to the Hall of Fame because that is a fun little journey. Oh, if you guys get a chance, go over on Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys and wish him a happy birthday today. So he's uh, he's made another lap. So so go go wish Danny a happy birthday when you guys get a chance. So we have uh, Kyle Petty is up next. Greg Sachs driving for Derek Close in the Kanawha Insurance car. Got a card there. Jeff Purvis. Ted Musgrave, former Truck Series champion. Patty Moise, married to Elton Sawyer. We mentioned that earlier. Looks like we have Andy Petrie. And was that Will Lynn? Did we have this one earlier? Yeah, we had that one. So we had Kirk and Tony. There's the Earnhardt All-Pro card, so I know you're a big Dale guy, so you got another one of those. That's pretty nice. 
Jim Phillips, formerly of MRN, Mike Joy, and Beans, here's another thing, and I, I don't know if you follow Mike Joy on Twitter, but you may reach out and ask him this, because he's pretty good at answering. He's interviewing Dale Earnhardt. So, kind of another Dale Earnhardt card for you there. But he is interviewing Dale Earnhardt. Bill Elliott, after the checklist. Davey Allison. Harry Gant. And who do we have as our 91 Max? Let's see how good we are at guessing. It's a driver. Spencer again. Wah, wah, wah. So there's been a little bit of repeats with the with those 91 maxes. But at least you just didn't load up on checklists. But I am glad you're getting a lot of Earnhardt's in the the Black Max and that 89 Max with Earnhardt leading at Richmond. That was a pretty cool hit too. Dale Jarrett, again, I was at this race photo finish. Ricky Pearson. That's the brother of Larry, son of David. Donnie Richardson. 91 season in review. There's Darrell Waltrip's horrific crash at Daytona. So, uh, recommend y'all go back and watch that. That was uh, 91 Pepsi 400. Richmond Night Race, first night race in Richmond in years. Lake Speed. I know Lake does TTMs, and he'll send you a little extra along the way. Dorsey Schrader. Bobby Labonte, the 91 Bush champ. There's Eddie Beerswell. We talked about him earlier. His dad, Don, car owner. Eddie does do TTMs. There's Bobby Hamilton Jr. There's a checklist. I think you're getting another 91 Max here. Uh, what do you have? Ken Schrader, his final career win. Dale Earnhardt, race 8. So that's going to be at maybe North Wilkesboro, I'm thinking 91, or Martinsville. Can't really tell. And you are getting a 91 Max card of an owner. Felix Sabatis, back when those uh, Miami Vice style pink colored hats, I don't want to say Miami Vice style, Miami Vice themed colored hats, because pink and teal seem to be a very, very popular color in the late 80s, early 90s. There's Ken Schrader on Vic in Victory Circle, the Motorcraft 591, a race that was technically never televised, at least the finish was never televised. Uh, who do we have here? I think we... Bobby Moody and David Minari. Not familiar with those guys. Bobby Moody I am, but not the other guy. Jimmy Finnick. Of course, he's still at Roush Fenway Racing. Buddy Parrott. Roberts. Gene Roberts. There's Steve Barkdahl, son of Phil Barkdahl. Harry Hyde, legendary mechanic and crew chief. Derek Cope had him earlier. DeWitts. We had the DeWitt family earlier. A little Moroso had them as well as McMahon and Mike Wallace. And you have an 88 Max peeking out here behind Jimmy Hensley. So let's see who your 88 Max card is of. And we're going to do a reveal here. It looks like it's going to be hopefully a driver card. I think I know who it is. No, I don't. Okay, now I do. You guys probably don't know, but I figured out who it is. It is a rookie card, but it is not of a big-name driver. But it is Larry Pollard, former Bush Series standout. Larry did have one career win in 1987, and Larry is the son-in-law of Harry Gant. So it's an 88 Max, but it wasn't the 88 Max we were looking for. Of course, Larry in that picture is driving for the Thomas Brothers, the famous double zero car that Sam Ard made famous, that he ended up, that team ended up closing down mid-1987, 88, somewhere along that lines. So Clifford Allison, we mentioned him briefly earlier, Todd Bodine, Tommy Houston, again, we've had some of these, so we're just going to kind of zip through these, and I'm kind of excited, I see an 89 Max peeking out back there, hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed means that you get an Earnhardt rookie. If it does, we'll sleeve it up live and make it ready for you. So we're getting closer to it. Who is it going to be? Do we have any more cards behind the Kenny Bernstein? We do. We have George Bradshaw. We're going to put George on his lid and see what we come up with here. Well, it looks like another event card. And it's Bill Elliott, race number 29. 
So this would have been when Bill won the championship in 1988. So not too bad. You got a couple champions here. Bill Elliott and Alan Kowicki. It looks like Michael Waltrip there in the back. So it's the Atlanta Journal 500. There's a little information about that one. You guys can see that one. Two more cards, Beans. Hope we can get you an Earnhardt rookie. So we have Ernie Irvin starts us off. I know we've had some of these guys before. So we're just going to kind of rapid fire through this and get to the back of our pack here. So we can see who is in the, I don't want to say the insert card spot, but it's definitely a insert card to me, even though it's a base card from a previous set. There we go. We have an all-pro card. Looks like you're getting another 91 max. No, you're getting a 90 max. So let's see who's it going to be. Hey, Cleveland, how are you? It's Ken Squire. You got a uh, bean, so you got a 1990 Ken Squire. Very cool. I'll make sure that all the vintage cards are sleeved up. Doing a break here for 1992 Black Max. No, we did one here a couple months ago. It seemed pretty popular. We all like seeing what we can pull out of 92 Max. As far as those vintage cards, always like to try to pull some of the good stuff. There you have Ken Wilson, Kirk Shelmerdine. So I know we've had these cards before. So Beans, this is your last pack. Good luck on this one. Paul Andrews would be a nice one to get signed. So this, this set's a really good set for signatures. I did get James Hilton to sign one of these when he was racing in ARCA. Bill Sedgwick, Elton Sawyer. Elton's a pretty cool guy to meet at the track if you get the chance. Looks like we're going to have a couple all-pro cards there. There's Larry Wallace. And then your last card is going to be Winston Kelly. So overall, Bean's not too bad in terms of the cards that you got in your three stacks. I'm just going to put this one up there. I think your big, big cards, I like that one from the 89 Max, the Larry Pollard 88 Max. We had another 88 Max, Daryl Waltrip. That's really nice. Had some 91 Max, 90 Max of Bob Jenkins. Ah, oh, I hate to hear that because that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to have fun over there. I'm looking forward to Eldora there, Cleveland. That that should be a good time. I was going to... My original plan was going to be go to um, the one at Lucas Oil Raceway. But since my wife is racing the same night across town, I'm going to be there for her race. So I asked her if she wanted to go to Eldora, and she said yes. So that's where we're going to go is to Eldora next weekend. So kind of win-win for everybody. Even though I think... I don't know which... I think Eldora will probably be a better better race than... Uh, Lucas Oil, but you never know. Um, but back to Beans, uh, yeah, I think it's probably your best card you got. You got a couple of those. That one's pretty nice one, the Richard Petty one. So, pretty nice stuff. Yeah, I, I can get from, from where I'm at, Cleveland, I can get to uh, Cleveland in about five hours from here myself. Maybe six, depending on traffic. Um... Eldora, I was looking at Google Maps. It's about an hour and 40 minutes away from me, so I should get there in about 90 minutes. So I'm looking forward to it. I've never been. Have you been out to Eldora, uh, Cleveland? Have you ever been there before? So our next one, Wes S. Wes, thank you for being patient. You ended up with the bottom right in our random draw at the beginning. So once again, thank you for being patient. This is our last stack of the day. Good luck to you as well, Wes. Hopefully you can pull something good out of this. Don't know who your favorite driver is. Don't know who you pull for. But uh, hopefully you can get somebody that you enjoy out of this as well. This has been fun. First dirt race was Attica last year. I have not been to... Uh, that's where you got all the Larson signed, wasn't it, Attica? Um, I've not been to a dirt race yet. If I have, If I have been to one, it's before I was little. So, before when I was little, so, so we are starting off with Wes's stack, and you start off with Mickey Stavola, 
yes, that that was pretty classic with with Larson and uh, getting all the things signed. But he is on fire this year, so I know Danny's happy about that. So Billy Stavola, Felix Sabatis, Junie Donlevy, longtime car owner, one career win. Morgan Shepard, four career cup wins, as does Ken Schrader, have four career wins. Uh, there you go. You got yourself a Gordon card as well. First max card, second or second year card for Gordon. Not too bad. Both you guys got one of those. Happy about that. Harry Gant. Joe Nemechek. We talked about Joe earlier. Now we're getting to some of our NASCAR officials. They kind of... I'm noticing a, there, there's, there's a distinct pattern in the way these are packed. So we know we're going to get some. It looks like you're going to start off with a 91 max as well. There's Rusty Wallace. Old RC, and who is your 91 Max going to be? Oh, you get a cover card. I'm on a Cleveland just popped up watching Dirt in person. If something else TV doesn't do it justice, literally think they're going. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Plus, they're having a, I believe it's a Silver Crown race next weekend as well. So we're really, really looking forward to it. And I'll definitely have some videos up. So anyway, uh, Wes, you got yourself a cover card. And these are very difficult to find in really good condition because if you've ever seen the 88 Max Packs, the way that they're wrapped, they're really tightly wrapped. And so this being a cover card, it gets dinged around a lot. So even though it is the, that's what I was looking for on the Starburst here, it does say 10 collector cards. If it's the one that says 100, that's the more rare version because that's the one that's exclusive to the factory sets. Go back and... Uh, go to the next pack here i was hoping uh Cle cleveland going back to the srx thing i was kind of hoping deegan would be at the dirt track this weekend because uh she's filling in for i believe castro neves but still gonna be cool because there's some drivers there that i haven't got autographs of like paul tracy willie t ribs um a couple other ones i've got scott speeds but i wouldn't mind getting his again because he's gonna be there and Cody Wyndham's going to be there, but I don't have anything of his, so maybe they'll have the hero card or something there. So there we go. Back to Wes's pack. Kendall, Irv Hare, Smith. Um, who is that? Uh, Stanley Smith. We talked about him earlier. He was. If you, if you watch, if you go back to the 1993 Die Hard 500, watch Stanley Smith's crash. His angle of impact into the wall was almost identical to Dale Senior's. Both had basilar skull fractures. Somehow, Stanley miraculously survived and did come back to race again, but never at the cup level. I think he just raced some dirt tracks and local stuff. There's uh, Beth Bruce. We've seen her earlier, former Miss Winston. Speaking of Winston, there's Winston Kelly. There is Ned Jarrett. We have a checklist. We're just ripping through these. Race number 13, so that's going to be Pocono. It's going to be the first Pocono race in 1991. Trying to remember if anything spectacular happened in that one. It did not. Race 25. Again, that's the race that Earnhardt broke Gantz for race win streak. And you're getting a 90 max of Mike Joy. Pretty cool there. Looks like a TBS broadcast. So that's probably going to be the fall Charlotte race of 89. It could be the Coke 600 of 89. But I doubt he's wearing a jacket in May. He's probably wearing a jacket in October. So it's probably from the fall race, 1989 Charlotte. So that would have been a Ken Schrader win. If it's the Cup Series. If he's doing the pre-race for the, the, the Bush Series or whatever, then I can't remember who won the 89 fall Charlotte race. We're going way beyond my way beyond my grasp there. There's Bill Venturini. Shauna Robinson is pretty cool. I believe that's from her Goodies Dash Series uniform. Of course, Shauna, the first female to win a pole for a national touring series race in NASCAR, 1994 in Atlanta. Norman Koshimishu again. So we've got lots of different All-Pro cards. We've seen all these earlier, so we'll zip through these and not, not bore our viewers. There's Super Tex. Again, we talked about him earlier. I'd like to get him on a, uh, in person or TTM. Waddell Wilson, Hall of Famer, Robin Pemberton. Let's see who your 89 Max is. It looks like you're getting the same one. But still, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll take that one. 89 Max, year in review, Bill Elliott. Just so glad that we're not ending up with uh, 
a whole stack of 89 or 91 Macs or a bunch of checklists. Like I say, the cover card, you might think it's a dud, but to get a cover card in that nice a condition, still pretty cool. There's uh, Larry McClure, I believe we had him a couple times earlier, Roger Pinsky. And I apologize for this little glare right here. My light's coming in from my upper right, and I've moved my table, moved everything that I can move. I'm not an electrician, so I cannot move the light. So we have one of the Wood Brothers there, Bob Rahilly, Rusty Wallace, Mark Martin. So got a lot of nice Hall of Famers in this one. Hut Strickland, he was on the Scene Vault podcast recently. Go back and listen to that episode. I think it was a three-parter. Really cool. Talked about his career. Wally Dallenbach, former Trans Am champion. Mike McLaughlin, Max McLaughlin's dad. There's Chad Little, Jesse Little's dad. Uh, John Paul Jr. was part of that IMSA group that uh, got uh, arrested for all the drug smuggling that they did in the mid-80s. Tom Peck, Larry Phillips. I believe Tim Mosey mentioned on his channel a couple days ago, i just seen the video today that Larry looks a little bit like Ken Schrader, and I can see the resemblance now. Now let's see who your 89 Max card is of. And you get a Dale Earnhardt, Neil Bonnet, Rusty Wallace year in review card. So you said you're a Big E guy. There's your 1989 Big E card. It's not the one we're looking for, but still pretty cool. I'll definitely get that one sleeved up for you. I say I got plenty of top loaders, plenty of soft sleeves. Want to make sure I take care of these cards for you guys when I get them shipped. That's uh, James Luter. Slick Poston's probably going to be next. Yes, there's Slick Poston. So we've already established the pattern. We just uh, don't remember all of them. Got some all-pro cards here. Is that Scott Robinette? Yep, we're figuring out who Scott Robinette is pretty good. Got some all pros. There's Larry Mack, Fox broadcast analyst. Mike Beam. I believe, yeah, Mike works for SRX. I'll have to remember to take one of Mike Beam's cards over there. He was the third crew chief. I couldn't think of the three because you had Ray Everham and you had Todd Parrott, and then the third one was Mike Beam. No, he's going to be over there. I believe Johnny Benson's driving the pace car. So lots of cool autograph opportunities. And you get you a Jeff Gordon BGN rookie card there, Wes. Pretty cool. So a couple Jeff Gordon cards headed your way. We have Jack Ingram, the Iron Man, and you get a 1990 Max card of Phil Barkdahl. Not too bad, Phil Barkdahl. There's a little information about Phil, born 1937. Phil does TTM, just so you know, so that might be one you might want to send out his way, because he'll sign it, and he'll even write you, if you ask him a question, he'll write you back on that, but Phil by trade, is an auctioneer, or was an auctioneer. I'm sure he's retired now, since he's almost in his 90s. But he ran the speedways generally. He ran Daytona, Talladega. I think he might have run a couple other tracks, but not very often. There's 93 Bush champ Steve Grissom. Harold Stott. Larry Mack. Renee White. Jack Aroot. So this is almost a mirror of our first pack that we uh, started the day with. Checklist, race 14, race 25, I'm sorry, 26, race 22, race 18, Jeff Hensley, Tony Uri Sr., DW and Davey, and you get a 91 max card of Larry Hedrick. Unfortunately, Larry passed away recently. I don't know if it was late last year, early this year, but Larry was the owner of the 41 car in the Cup Series. Probably most known for Ricky Craven, the 95 Rookie of the Year driving his cars. Joe Nemechek, Steve Grissom, David Green also drove the 41 cars, as did Greg Sachs, Larry Pearson, Dave Marcus, and a handful of others that ran one-offs here and there. There's Ken Schrader. Talked about the photo finish from 91. There's Mark Stahl. Mark does TTMs, just an FYI. He is out there in TTM land. Ward Burton, Troy Beebe is up next. Terry Labonte, so we're getting a few repeats, but still some nice stuff in here. Jimmy Spencer, there you go. There's your Earnhardt card, a 91 champ. I really, this is probably one of my more favorite Earnhardt cards. 
just the pose with the trophy there. The background's kind of dull because they're using a flash to get that forward lighting. So very, very cool. Let's take a look at the back of it. And it has the 1991 champion. So it gives you all the champions from 1962 all the way to 1991, plus some stats about Earnhardt's 91 season and his career. So it's a pretty cool card. We'll definitely sleeve that one up for you. Make sure it's good and secure. Davey Allison, DW, Kyle Petty. I see, uh, I see a 91 Max poking out back there. So we have Clyde McLeod, and who is your 91 Max? Looks like a crew guy. David Smith, very cool. So that's one of your one of your guys on your Earnhardt team, and it's an All Pro card of David Smith, Jackman. Of course, I believe it was 1996 when David would become crew chief for Earnhardt after Kirk Shelmerdine left to go uh, pursue a racing career. Who's up next? Leonard Wood. Is this Leonard or Glenn? I can never tell them apart. There's Leonard. David If. So we're going to kind of rapid fire through these here. Looking at my timer, we've been at this a little over an hour. So not, not too bad. Dave Fuge. Travis Carter. Is he holding the valve cover, it looks like? Bob Whitcomb. Harry Melling. Buddy Baker. Kenny Wallace for Team 3 Racing. There's another nice one. Davey Allison. Looks like he's laying down in the back of a transporter, maybe. Cecil Eunice. H.B. Bailey. Talked about him a little bit with his son, Joe Dan. And then uh, Carl Hill, NASCAR official. And you get Norman Koshimishu, an all-pro. Of course, this is when he was driving for Robert Yates Racing. Truck driver. Very cool. Norman Koshimishu. And the white flag is out. We are on our last pack of this break. So thank you guys for hanging in there. Kind of got a spoiler there of, I don't know who we're going to get, but I did see we're going to get an 88 Max on the back of this pack. So we had Morrow. We talked about him. So we're going to have a few NASCAR officials here. We'll rip through these rather quickly. That way you guys can get off to doing whatever you guys need to get off and doing. So we've got McClure's going on there. Uh, Leo Jackson, Junior Johnson, Chuck Ryder. Linwood, yeah, Linwood. Butch Mock, Rick Mast. Ricky Rudd. Phil Parsons. And our final card is going to be Jeff Bodine. Well, the final card's not up yet. Let's see who that's going to be. Hopefully, Wes, for you, it's somebody good. Let's flip it over because I see I didn't see the name, but that it's going to be a driver card. They're wearing a Winston hat. And it's Phil Barkdahl. So that is a Phil Barkdahl rookie. So you did get a few nice cards there. There's Phil's career stats to that point on the back. He'd only made seven career starts. Most of them at Daytona and Talladega. But a quick run through of your uh, vintage cards. Norman Koshimishu, David Smith, Larry Hedrick. Again, Phil Barkdahl, 90 Max. You got one of those really cool 89 Max with Earnhardt's. The 89 Max with Elliott, Mike Joy, and the 88 Max cover card. Very, very cool. So, uh, Beans and Wes, I'll get these cards packaged up next day or so and have them sent out your way. I'll get the cards sleeved appropriately and packaged appropriately and have them sent off to you. So, thank you guys for participating in this. Thank you guys for those of you that stuck around and watched. I really do appreciate it. I'm sure this video will be up, so uh, we'll have it up and running soon. Looks like we're spinning on the internet, but I'm still up and running. At least on my live stream I am, so... Or it may just be my connection on my laptop. So uh, you are welcome, Wes. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again sometime. I got more boxes, not of 92 Max, but I got some other stuff that we can maybe break in the near future if anybody is interested. I'll probably put some information in some upcoming videos if if people do have more interest. So I'll get again, like I said, I'll get these cards shipped out to you. 
So thanks again for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Go back in the archives and have some fun and watch some of the other videos that we've got up and going. And we will see you tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow, but we will do something. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.